Hey, everybody. What's going on? You guys doing all right? Okay. I hope you're all doing very well. Tonight, I'm really excited about this video. I've got a special treat for you guys. Check this out. I made my very own homemade pizza. I've been trying really hard over the last month or so to get a really good homemade pizza recipe so I could share it with you guys. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. Of course, I am. I'm going to eat a piece first and then we'll, we'll go into the kitchen and I'll show you guys how to make a pizza just like this. So if you guys are having a Super Bowl party next week or you want to just make dinner for your family. This is uh, so easy. Anybody can do it. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, you guys know I always have chips with my pizza, right? There we go. These are cheddar and sour cream potato chips. I've got a soda pop to drink. favorite little binaural eats cafe glass <laughs> all right so I'm gonna try and hold this pizza up and give you guys an up-close view and hopefully I won't drop anything <laughs> okay I'm gonna let's see maybe keep my finger right there so it doesn't slide off the, the peel here okay check this out you guys I tell you what, I've made so many pizzas over the last month, so I think I finally, finally got it down. The first few were just awful. They were like the worst pizzas ever, so, but, you know, practice makes perfect, right? So, uh, homemade pizza, potato chips, uh, cooking in a little bit, so you guys sit back, relax, you put your feet up, don't worry about a thing, you just hang out with me for a while. I'm going to cut up this pizza here and eat a slice or two. You guys can see I just have the one mic set up, so I got a lot of food here. I need some, some elbow room, but uh, one mic's just as good. I love these shotgun mics, but just to make sure, let's, uh, let's just take a look here and make sure everything's set up just right. We've only got the the one mic so we want to make sure it's just perfect let's move that up just a little bit just like that there we go i think that looks good <laughs> okay so hopefully we've got a nice i'm gonna slide this a little bit hopefully we've got a nice crispy crust here I'm probably going to do a terrible job cutting it up, but there we go. Let's see if I can get a nice piece here and I'll give it a try. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm getting excited here. This is like an all-day-long project for me. There we go. Binaural Eats Homemade Pizza. Let's see how I did. Mm. So good. You guys know I love pizza. I could eat it every single day in my life. So being able to make a good pizza like this at home is just, just awesome. It was so much fun, too. Mmm. 
Nice. Perfectly cooked crust on the bottom. Nice and brown and crispy. Wow, that is so good, you guys. I wish I could share a piece with you. <laughs> anyway, let's head on into the kitchen, and I'll show you how I made it. Afterwards, come on back, and I'll eat some more pizza and chips, okay? All right, everyone. I have all of my ingredients lined up. You ready to make some pizza? All right, me too. <laughs> Just a few ingredients, really. Um, I'll just go through everything real quick. I have a total of three cups of just plain all-purpose flour. There's one cup in this larger mixing bowl. That's what we're going to get started with. And then two more cups here to add later. I have one cup of warm water. A little mixing spatula this is two teaspoons of sugar half a teaspoon of salt one packet of active dry yeast a pair of scissors to help me <laughs> open the yeast I know you guys love these scissor sounds some olive oil a little uh, measuring cup for my oil and this is a digital thermometer it's really important that you get your water temperature just right your water should be in between 100 and 110 degrees um, if it's too hot or too cold, your yeast won't activate right. So um, let's see where we're at here. It's still going up. It looks like it's right around 106. Let's take a look. 107. So that's just about the perfect temperature. Um, and if you don't have one of these thermometers, it's okay because um, just use some warm water. It shouldn't feel hot at all. Just uh, a nice warm water and you'll be fine. So the first thing we're going to do is get our yeast activated. So we'll take our water and set that right there. We're going to dump our sugar in first. That's what's going to feed your yeast. Mix that around a little bit. We'll give it a good stir here once we get our yeast in there. So we'll just open this up. And 
Okay. And we'll just dump that right in there. And this takes about seven minutes to activate. Five to seven minutes. You'll be able to tell when it's ready because it'll, it'll get a, a nice foam on top. There we go. So we'll just let that activate. And move some of the stuff around a little bit and we'll get ready to mix up our dough. Just gonna pour my salt right in there. Mix that around with our little rubber spatula. I'm trying out a new lavalier mic, so hopefully I'll be able to do some more cooking videos this year. I want her to have a nice, good sounding lavalier mic that I can just clip on my shirt while I'm cooking. five more minutes my yeast will be ready and we'll mix up our dough all right everyone my yeast is ready see how it's nice and foamy that's what you're looking for so we're gonna take our one cup of flour and we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil to it this will just give it some flavor and help everything mix together real good one two tablespoons we're going to dump our yeast and water right in there and then we're going to mix that together really good and just mix it all up. We're going to make, it's almost going to look like a batter. This is just going to help get the, the yeast in there really good and a good portion of the flour nice and mixed in. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to add about half of the remaining flour in there and we'll do the same thing. Let's mix that together real good. Starting to look like something. <laughs> I tell you what, I've made a lot of these pizzas over the last month or so trying to, to get a really good recipe. I think I've, I've got one to share with you guys. Looking pretty good now. And we're going to add all of the three cups of flour in there. It's going to be really hard to mix, but that's okay because we're going to we're going to take it out of this bowl and we're going to mix it up with our hands. So just uh, do the best you can. Get it all mixed up. I know that looks like a lot of flour in there, but that's okay. Don't worry. You just keep mixing. And then we're going to take it out and we're going to put it on our board and 
knead it really good with our hands. I got my nice little pizza peel here. I got some nice little blue gloves for cooking and whatnot so this dough gets pretty sticky so we'll put some gloves on while we mix it up that way we can have some fun while we're mixing it and <laughs> not have to worry about making a mess right all right I'll just give that a couple more mixes in the bowl here get it the best that I can and we'll, we'll just dump everything right onto our pizza peel here. There we are. and mix it all up with our hands. That's all there is to it. Just mix it up real good. Knead it a few times. I might get a little sticky on you, but that's okay because we're gonna. I've got a little, little bowl here with just some extra flour. If it gets a little sticky, that's okay. This is just about ready. It's looking good. It smells good too. I just love the smell of fresh pizza dough. See how easy that was? Just about ready. Look at that. There you go. Some beautiful looking pizza dough. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna make a nice, nice looking dough ball there. And that is it. There's your nice, beautiful pizza dough ball. I'm going to take this first bowl that I had the flour in. There we go. Just dribble a little bit of oil in there. Just like that. We're just going to take our pizza dough and if I can get it off the pizza peel there. There we are. We're just going to roll that around in the olive oil a little bit. Spin it around and flip it over. That's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna cook this dough later on this evening so I can eat some pizza with you guys. So I'm just gonna leave it right on the countertop. A 
cover it up with a little, a little blanket there. <laughs> and uh, if you're not going to use it, you know, same day, you can put it in the refrigerator overnight and let it rise in the refrigerator. But uh, I'm going to cook this today, so I'm just going to uh, leave it out on the countertop. It's easier to, to flatten out the pizza dough, too, if it's room temperature. If you decide to refrigerate it the next day when you take it out, let your uh, dough set out for a little bit. It's uh, easier to work with when it's room temperature. But... Um, I'm going to let this sit and rise for a little bit, and I'll see you in a couple of hours. All right, everyone. My dough is ready. It's been sitting on the counter for about two and a half to three hours. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. There we go. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that dough. So I'm starving too. My whole kitchen smells like a pizzeria. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what we got and what we're gonna put on it. First off, I've got my giant pizza pan here because you guys know I like to eat big, right? Actually, I'm gonna take my little towel here and put under the pan because that that pan makes a lot of noise sometimes so I still want this to be as relaxing as possible for you guys so we've got our pan and there's our dough and I've got some just store-bought pizza sauce. This is Delalo. It's really good. You can uh, make your own sauce if you know how or just uh, get some store-bought. That's what I like to do. I don't have a recipe yet for pizza sauce, but uh, maybe we'll do that next time. And we also have some shredded cheese. This is fresh mozzarella and some parmesan on top just a mix of both i like to buy the the big blocks of cheese and shred it myself it's always better that way and last but not least some good old pepperonis so we'll just have a plain cheese and pepperoni pizza today Put my gloves on and we'll get started and make this pizza. We're going to cook it in a really warm oven too. 500 degrees at least. Okay. And I'll move some stuff around here a little bit. We need to get our dough on our pan. And we're not going to do anything to our pan. Um, the dough, if you remembered, we, we rolled it around in olive oil, so um, it's not going to stick to the pan. When the pizza's done cooking, you'll see how easy it slides off the pan. So we'll just take our dough and let's take it right on out of here. And Put it right on our pizza pan. And that is it. We're just going to start to flatten it out a little bit. We're going to try and stay away from the, the outer edge. That way we have a nice, nice fluffy crust. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep flattening it out until, and this dough is going to fill up this entire pan. So we're going to have a nice, a nice thin crust pizza. See if this was 
a really cold dough right out of the refrigerator, it, it wouldn't be so easy. It would want to spring back. And we'll just keep going until our, our uh, pizza pan is filled. Yeah, see how it's, it's really starting to spread out and fill up the pan. It might take you a few minutes, but that's okay. You know, it's. I went to the pizza shop the other day to get me a nice pizza, and uh, those guys at the, the pizza places make it look so easy, but uh, it's all right if it takes you a few minutes. Yeah, this is going to be a nice, nice thin crust. So you get those little bubbles there, you can just flatten those right out. And we'll still have that nice little bit of a crust there. Okay, I think that's ready. Next, we'll put our sauce on. When you put your sauce on there, it's totally up to you. My wife just loves the pita sauce. I don't like that much sauce because I think it makes your pizza kind of, I don't know, soggy. <laughs> Let's try that and, you know, if that's not enough, you can always go back and add a little bit more. I think that's going to be like the perfect amount. Pretty good. I like more, more cheese than sauce. But that's the good thing about making pizzas is you can make them however you want them. You can put any toppings on there. Lots of cheese or just a little bit of cheese. Some people like, you know, all veggies on their pizza. There, that looks pretty good. Let's even that out a little bit. Right around the edges. Let's move that out a little bit. All right. Now we'll sprinkle our cheese on there. Let's mix it up a little bit so we get that Parmesan mixed in with the, the mozzarella. If you can, you want to use whole milk mozzarella too. That browns up a lot nicer than the uh, skim or part skim. Just sprinkle it right on there. I like to get it all the way out, right out to the outside edge. Once you get it on there, you can smooth it out a little bit. Looks like we're going to use all this cheese. That's all right, though. There we go. <laughs> Dump all that right on there. Now we'll just smooth it out a little bit so it's nice and even. Easy stuff. There, that looks pretty good. Now we'll 
add our pepperonis on there. I like lots of pepperoni, so we're gonna make sure we get that little half of one there too. <laughs> Yeah, I like a lot of these, so we're just going to put them all over the whole entire pizza. There we go. There's one layer. And just keep going round and round until we get to the center. And we're going to cook this at at least 500 degrees. It's going to cook fast. There we are. All right, my oven's just about ready, so we're gonna bake it at 500 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. All right, everyone, my oven is ready. So in goes the pizza, and I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. All right, everyone, my pizza is done. Look at that. It's been exactly 11 minutes. This is gonna be so good, you guys. Let me see if I can hold it up here and give you guys an up close view. There you go. Look at that. That's your very own binaural eats homemade pepperoni pizza. Now you remember when I said earlier this pizza is going to slide right off the pan? Watch how easy this comes off. I've got my little pizza peel here from earlier and this is just going to look at that, just slide right off. Okay. There you have it. I'm going to go eat. <laughs> Not bad, right? Actually, it was pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, make sure and let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out, okay? But uh, right now I'm starving, so I'm going to eat another piece. There we go. That's got a nice, nice crispy crust to it.
grab a few more of these chips here. figure out how I can cut this here. Yeah, if you guys are curious, that was a 18-inch pizza pan, so that was the biggest one I could find. <laughs> if you guys don't need a pizza this big, which most of you probably won't, uh, you can just cut the dough in half and make, you know, two medium-sized pizzas. I think I'll have one or two more pieces here.
think we'll do one more piece. I'll save the rest for later. My wife and I are going to watch a movie later, so this will be perfect to go with the movie. Okay, I have a few more of these chips before I go. I know you guys love these chip eating sounds. I think that's about it for today that was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed that video i'm definitely gonna try and do more cooking videos this year okay all right well thanks for spending some time with me tonight i really enjoyed it thanks for subscribing um, i've gotten so many new subscribers over the last few months it's just amazing so thank you so much i really appreciate it um Thanks for all of your wonderful comments. I still read every single one of them. Uh, it's just a real bright part of my day, so keep them coming, okay? All right, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.